Hopefully everybody can see us and hear us. Hi, everybody. It's Jen and we are traveling down the road, if you can't tell. <laughs> we're in the hills of Arkansas, so we're just going to pray this through that reception holds and um, you can hear us. But we are here with my very good friend, Linda Gates. And um, she lives in Indiana. And uh, we have been friends since the beginning of my Mary Kay career, which I'm very excited about. We've been through a lot of hills and valleys in our, in our Mary Kay business, but um, we have just supported each other all along the way. And I love that. Um, and she's had a huge year, which she's going to tell us about here shortly, um, and a little bit of her eye story. But let me tell you, she's been in Mary Kay 29 years, 13 court of sales years, 10 unit circles, 14 cars, voted Miss Go Give in April of 2016, um, new to the court of sharing, which I'm super excited about triple star achiever and million dollar half million dollar director this year I received to be that. Million I dollar received director. That. <laughs> <laughs> so i am gonna mute um so that you don't hear the rain and the windshield bumpers but um i if i need to unmute i will um ask you some questions probably later so take it away awesome well like jen said my name is linda gates i'm from huntington indiana and jen and i became such great friends because we are both from the Asenath brock national area so while Asenath had all of her directors from missouri and arkansas i was that lone director that came from the state of indiana and got to travel out and be with my brock area family and jen and i became quick friends so to recap a little of my Mary Kay story, I have been in Mary Kay 29 years this year and I joined because I was pregnant and I was looking for a way to stay home and raise my babies. And I already wore the Mary Kay products. My mom started me on them when I was 16 years old. She was a believer of Mary Kay products. And I just went to another party to pick up some more products. Now I want you to know that party was like my third or fourth layer to Mary Kay because my not only did my mom wear the products and I wore the products, but my college roommates, two of them sold Mary Kay products. And so in our dorm room, they had a closet full of inventory. So I was layered over the years of what running a Mary Kay business looks like. But I graduated with an accounting degree and I worked that for three years. But when I was pregnant, I just knew that heart, mama's heart took over and I knew I wanted to stay home and raise my kids. And that's when Mary Kay came into my life again. I went to a party to pick up some of my normal products and the lady heard my story and said, have you ever thought about doing this? And I'm like, well, actually my consultant is my college roommate up in Michigan. She's told me about it multiple times and the timing's never been right, but I think it is now. And at that skincare class, I saw the golden rule put into action as that sales director called my college roommate up in Michigan and recruited me for her and I, that I made her a red jacket and I made her third team member. And so I saw firsthand the right way to work this business and to um, do it by the golden rule. Matthew chapter seven, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And so um, that philosophy is very um, important to me and has always been a foundation for my business. So fast forward from 29 years ago, I have worked this business with babies and I have worked this business putting kids on the bus and working during the day and yet being that stay at home mom that was there to get them off the bus and to do homework, but go out one or two nights a week and hold parties. I've been that mom who's worked this business 
to pay for braces and to put her kids through college and to pay for two weddings in one summer. <laughs> so Mary Kay, I'm so thankful that over time our income has grown because kids are expensive <laughs> and we have needed more and more over the years. So this business has just grown with me. And this past year we celebrated our highest year ever. Who, who would have ever known in a year of COVID, in a year of not traveling, in a year of not doing any face-to-face -face appointments that we could have our best year ever. And that's how it is company-wide all across the board. There's more million dollar units, there's more trip units, more half million dollar units. Sales have been up this past year because we've adapted. We've learned a new way to work. This new virtual world of Zoom and Facebook has broadened our scope and we've gotten smarter in less time. And so we have found ways to be more effective. And through that, our unit completed our first half million dollar year. I completed my first national court of sharing and earned that infamous bumblebee, along with another year of court of sales, which completes our first year of triple star. And so did it just happen because of COVID, because of the increase? No, I mean, I'm sure that might have helped and that might have been a player, but I want you to know July 1 of 2020, a year ago, this goal poster was in place and I claimed that I would do my first triple star year. Did we hit every goal? No, we didn't. You'll see the goal was trip was 650 we did 500,000 and that's okay. Sometimes in setting the goal, you don't hit the end goal, but you hit other benchmarks along the way. So what I wanna share with you today, when Jen asked me if I would do one of the pearls of wisdom calls, I immediately thought there's nothing better to train on, you know, the very first week of July than goal setting. Because in this book, Mary Kay's autobiography, I'm actually going to read to you a few pages and I'm going to start on page 96 because this is the chapter of plan your life the way you plan a vacation. And Mary Kay says at the top of page 96, you have to plan that work day with the same type of detail you use in planning a vacation. I had to have a plan. I had to know that this year was gonna be my year to recruit 24 personals. I'd never done that before. I recruited 19, I recruited 17, I recruited 15 and 12, but I've never done 24. So I had to have a plan and I had to believe it. Mary Kay says, every single detail is worked out. You plan your vacation down to the very last item. And on that first vacation day, you know exactly what you're going to do. And as a result, you have a successful trip. If you're going to drive to your vacation destination, you wouldn't start without a roadmap. The same should be true of your life and your Mary Kay business. Without a plan, without a roadmap, you'll never get to where you want to go. To accomplish anything significant, you must sit down and decide what you want from your life. These are your long-term goals. Getting them down on paper makes them concrete. Very often when people list long-term goals, they seem overwhelming. But the old Chinese proverb relates, the longest journey begins with one single step. In other words, to accomplish great things, you must achieve one small goal at a time. So new consultants joining Mary Kay are urged to hold five skincare classes during their first week of a business. It's important to set realistic short-term goals, goals you can actually attain, then go on to bigger ones as you gain the self-confidence. At the same time, a good goal is like a strenuous exercise it makes you stretch. Goals should be slightly out of reach to get the maximum value. Another old saying Mary Kay said, inch by inch it's a cinch, but by the yard it's hard. 
So break those goals down into daily goals. If your goal is to have a $500 week, then break the goal into $500 days. Maybe book five facials, maybe book two parties, but break it down. The world is full of people who are very quick to dream and very slow to act. It's very often because they have failed to break the big goals down into manageable goals. And often it can also be a fear of failure. Many people are so afraid of failure that they never try anything. But in Mary Kay, we have learned that we fail forward to success. The last Mary Kay quote, her final lesson she learned was then to tell somebody what you're gonna do. I could immediately see that this was an important step in setting personal goals. As she was working for Stanley, she said to the president of the company, Frank Stanley Beveridge, next year, I'm going to be the queen. And he looked her in the eye and said, and somehow I know you will. Those few words literally changed her life. She failed forward to success. She started with a $7 party and turned it into a $28 party by gleaning the words from the queen of sales that year and making her presentation better. And by the end of that year, she was the queen of sales. If you haven't read this book, put it back on your nightstand and read a chapter every night because this is our heritage. This is what this company was built upon. So I just wanna share a little bit of goal setting, how I think, how I work, how I track, because what you will do right now at the beginning of July will just set you up for success all year long. And so I want you to know what I did on July 1. I sat in a coffee shop for several hours all by myself and I just dreamed. I just dreamed what could my life look like a year from now? What could I achieve? What could I do? What blessings could I bring to my family through my Mary Kay business? And I just started writing things down. It's like a bucket list. It is just like let your mind wander. Like, I'd love to take Troy to Hawaii. I would love to buy Troy a truck. I would love to bank more money towards our retirement. I would love blank, 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 blank. Just keep it going. Just start by writing down what are your dreams. And then tell somebody. Let somebody else know. Let your husband know, let him get in your back pocket and be your best supporter going after those dreams. If you don't tell anybody, you don't have that accountability. And the second thing you do is you pick the one or two goals that are so clear and you're so passionate about and you write them down and we're going to track them. I know I would love to have every year, oh, a Mary Kay goal and a spiritual goal and a physical health goal and a financial goal. And honestly, I would, but it's just not attainable. Believe it or not, our, it's too much for our brain to you know, process. Um, literally in the month of June, the goal was so clear for finishing half million that I had to put aside some other goals so I could focus on that one. So I really didn't cook too many meals. <laughs> you know, um, eating healthy wasn't as high of priority in the month of June because we had to get the goal done. So pick one or two goals that's important for you, but don't pick five or six, it's too many. So this year I have the goal of doing half of the trip, doing 650,000, the trip to Scotland. And I've already cleared my vision board, my tracking board, and it's already in place. So one thing I wanna to talk to you about is goal posters because I made this goal poster years ago and I use the same one over and over again because I've made it to where 
the goal of quarter sharing is there with 24 bumblebee stickers. And then the goal of Court of Sales is there with 40 silver stars. But then each week, I don't like necessarily dirty up the goal poster and write on it. Instead, I buy these little post-it note tags. And so when I get a new team member, I just take a post-it note tag and I write her name on it. And then I put her on number one. So I can see that I've accomplished the goal. Her name is on it. But when the year is over, I rip off all the post-it note tags and my goal poster is already ready for the next year. It takes me no time to recreate it. And yes, yeah, some things from year to year do change because one of the things the company promoted last year was 50 great start qualified for our units. Well, that's not happening this year. It's not a current promotion. It's okay. I can just take a piece of poster board and just cover this whole side up and I can track whatever I want on that side. So my first encouragement for you would be get a vision board, get a tracking board of some sort, but make it reusable. Put the goal levels on there but then track your progress with little tags, with little sticky notes. And then you don't ever have to make it over and over again. It's done for you every year. The other thing I do is I have a binder. And in this binder, I have all of my tracking information. You might think, oh my gosh, I'm not a C personality. I don't track. Um, I don't care what your personality is. If you want success, you will track <laughs> and you will learn to love it. <laughs> it's just that simple. Um, tracking comes easier to those C personalities, a C personality being detailed, very maybe more um, analytical, maybe more numbers oriented. Um, they'll like to do it better, but every personality has to track because a tracked number grows. And if you're not tracking your numbers, if you don't know where you're at, you don't know how much further you have to go to get there. So I seriously have a whole section of my binder that tracks our unit analysis, it tracks my court of sales, it tracks my court of sharing, and then the names and the great start behind it. It tracks circle of excellence. It tracks everything that's important to me that I wanna track. And I'm serious, when I walk into my office every single day, nine o'clock, I update my numbers. I just need to know, Kathy Halou, National Sales Director Emeritus, taught that to me probably 27 years ago, that if you, and in that day, we used to call the company to get an update of our production numbers. And you'd have to sit on the phone and listen to that update as they read it to you. Now we have it all at the touch of our fingers. We just hop on in touch and we know exactly our numbers and where we're at. So say this phrase with me that tracking is sexy. It is. National Sales Director Leah Lachlan told me that. And when you embrace tracking, you will be an awesome tracker and you'll see that number grow. So bring out that C personality, bring out some tracking forms, get some goal posters down, know exactly where you want to go. So that way you can see your thermometers rise in whatever areas that you're tracking. Speaking of thermometer, this is one of my favorite sheets that I teach to my unit. Um, Amy Kemp made this years ago. It's just a monthly sales goal tracking sheet. I did this with my unit on Tuesday night. And we just ask this month, what do you want to bless your family with? As we went around the table, we got answers like, I just want a weekend, a family weekend away. We got answers like going to the water park or an amusement park for a couple of days in July. I got an answer, I just want to pay for my own Starbucks. This lady drinks um, a venti, one of the large drinks, $6 um, a pop, and she does it five days a week. 
So her Starbucks cost her $30 a week, $120 a month. So she just wanted her Mary Kay business to pay for her Starbucks treats. And then you got me who um, wants to buy her husband a new truck. <laughs> so your goals can be little, you know, pay a few bills, some extra grocery money. Your goals can be bigger, like a family vacation or a family weekend away, or your goals can be significant, taking on the mortgage or buying a truck payment. It doesn't matter what they are. Your goals are your goals. And I love that our Mary Kay business can meet that need in your life. But here is how the goal happens is you write the amount down that you need that month to achieve the family vacation. Let's say we're going to a water park or we're going to Silver Dollar City. I got to talk your guys's language or whatever. And we want $500 to do that. So we put water park, Silver Dollar City here and we need $500 here. Well, you divide that number by 40%. Well, I'm a math person and multiplication is much easier than division. So instead of dividing by 40%, we're gonna multiply by 2.5, okay? So I take $500, I multiply it by 2.5 and the goal becomes 1250 that we need to sell that month because we run our businesses under a 60-40 split. Yes, I know we make half in Mary Kay, but we have expenses, we have postage, we have hostess credit. So we run our business 60% going back into it, 40% being profit. So we times that number by 2.5. That gives us $1,250. Now we divide it by four weeks. And when we divide it down by four weeks, then we know exactly what it is that we need to sell each week to hit our goal. So $12.50 divided by four is a $313 week. Oh my gosh, that's so attainable. How can you have a $300 week? One party, two facials, having some guests hop on your virtual events and following up with them a few extra reorders coming in. So when you know what you're working for and the amount of work that it takes to hit the weekly goal, then the goal seems so manageable, so manageable. And you can have the fun of putting a picture of Silver Dollar City or putting the picture of the water park or putting the picture of the truck that your husband dreams about or putting a picture of your favorite Starbucks drink. It doesn't matter what it is, but so many of us are visually minded. And so having this sheet lay right on the top of my desk every day and then filling in what I have sold to get there and breaking it down by each week keeps me on track. And then before I leave the office that day or before I go to bed that night, I look at it and see where I am. Am I on target for my goal that day? If not, I send a few more texts. If not, I get a few more guests to be on the next virtual event. I don't quit working until I win the day. And that is an amazing book by Mark Batterson. And if you haven't read Win the Day, I would highly recommend it as your next leadership book because it's phenomenal on how you can handle the situations in the past and you, oh, Jen, <laughs> I love it. So um, you just have to read the book. So it's your next leadership read because it'll help you track your goals and keep everything in focus. So that's my first sheet that I love. The second sheet that I love that I have my unit use is just a tracking sheet one to 30. One to 30 of who are you putting Mary Kay products on their face that month? You know, in Mary Kay, we call this perfect start at 15 faces, power start at 30 faces. But do you know magic happens when you do 30 faces every month? That's when you hit growth. 
that's what will encourage you to step up to the next level. Do you know nowhere in the Bible does it say, be thou mediocre? <laughs> it doesn't say that. No, God calls us to excellence. He tells us that the workers are few and the harvest is out there. It's ready, but it's for those who will step up. If, you, if you're on, on a staircase and a step is in front of you, if you don't step up, you're going to trip. <laughs> you're going to trip and fall. And you're going to stay right there, the same place you are, in comfort zone or in mediocrity. But if you step up to a new level of excellence, you step up to a bigger goal, then maybe a little bit scary. You step up to a bigger dream that your heart has been wanting to embrace. The Lord will bless your work. He will bless your excellence. And so 30 faces, seeing those new faces each and every month is the workload that Mary Kay set out for us 57, eight years ago. When she started this company, that was the plan. And so I know it's been a year of COVID. I know we've kind of got out of the habit of face-to-face -face appointments, but it's time. It's time to get back. Women are hungry for connection. They're hungry for relationship. I don't think booking has ever been so easy because women want to gather again. So of course, you know your surroundings, you know what you're comfortable with, you know if you're vaccinated or not. So continue to work your business in the ways that are wise for you, whether that's virtually or that's in-person face-to-face. But I encourage you, women are ready, they're ready. So where could you start this month? Where could you start right now? by getting 30 faces on your July calendar. That's what's gonna make the whole difference in your goal setting for the month is by seeing those faces. I love it that the company gives us a new piece of jewelry every month at the $600 level. I mean, how brilliant is that, that they reward us? Do you know that level will happen? If you're doing 30 faces, you don't even have to think about a 600 wholesale order. $1,200, you'll probably sell 1,200 to 12 people. I average around $100 a face. So to do 30 faces, you're probably going to do around 3,000 in sales. Look at what that can do to provide for your family. So my question to you is, July 1, this first week, have you drained? Do you know what you want to go after this year? And then when you decide, have you put it down on paper? Have you made your goal poster? Have you printed off your tracking sheets to get there? As Mary Kay has said, have you told somebody? Do you have an accountability partner that can run with you? That has been a key difference in my life this year. I have a girlfriend, Deanna Manning, down in Indianapolis, who we both set the goal for the trip. And we just, we pray together every Wednesday. We're prayer partners. We lift up everything that's going on with our business and our personal lives. But we just have these daily check-in phone calls about how are you working or what are you working on or give me an idea for this or give me your script for this. And so I do want you to pray over an accountability partner and choose them wisely. Don't choose an accountability partner that's going to let you off the hook. And don't choose an accountability partner that um, won't hold you accountable to what you say you're going to do. That accountability partner has to be the right person. I've had lots of accountability partners over the years, and I think this was the first year that I found the right one. So be diligent in prayer over finding that person and then run and encourage each other and lift each other up 
That's biblical. That's what the Bible tells us to do. We're not in competition against each other. We get to do this together. And just like Jen and I, we get to celebrate in Scotland next year when we finish $650,000 as units. And I know that's a goal we're both passionate about and we're both tracking. And so like one of our first steps, we break it down and we're looking for 65 stars. And so we break it down into four quarters. We're looking for 17 star consultants this very first quarter. Will you be one of those 17? We need you. And you do that by $300 weeks, consistent $300 weeks. You get a beautiful prize for your family. See, see this, the beautiful prize for your family. And yet you get the income that you get to contribute to your family's budget. So goal setting, it's where it's at. I know you got to put your nerd brain on and you got to do the math, but sometimes we got to do the nerdy things because tracking is sexy and that is what will get us to our goal. So that's what I want to share with you today. Jen, what questions do you have for me? Well, uh, my first question, well, uh, my first question Sorry, there's some feedback. Um, Sorry, there's some feedback. tracking sheets on my Facebook page. I will. Okay, that would be yes. awesome. And thank you for the reminder of Amy Kemp's goal sheet because we've used that in the past and I kind of got away from that. I love that. Yep. Yeah. And I just yes. started reading this book. So that was funny that you mentioned that. That was awesome. So it is so good. Yes, that was super great. I'm so proud of you and I'm so excited for your business this year. And I truly am very excited to celebrate in Scotland together next year. Won't that be so fun? I know. And I'm so thrilled that the company is reopening our corporate events and that we will be together at leadership in Atlanta and we will all get to celebrate together next year at seminar. What a joy. That's right. That's right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. You're Love welcome. You Safe travels. Yes. Thank Blessing you. girls. So you can do it. Have a great July.